guitars. Let's go build some junk. As you know, probably by now, my neck blanks usually I will have a core, two runners, and two rails to get me to the thickness I need for the full blank. Um, problem with that, if the core is too thick, you run the risk of running out of rails on the taper of the full thing. So. I have started some time ago trying to taper the core piece just a little bit, like an eighth of an inch off of each side at the head down to nothing down here, which was a huge pain in the ass. I had made some uh, taper jigs out of 2x4 that were just an eighth of an inch thinner at this end than they are at that end. And that was not fun to make. <clears throat> um, and then another one that's a quarter so I can do the second side. Because once you've taken an eighth off, you, to get an eighth off the other side, you got to take a quarter off. All right. Well, I used to run that on the table saw, uh, but I don't know. There's Because I made those out of two by four, they're slowly starting to creep out of true slightly and I don't know this time I don't have the materials and time at the moment to build new ones so I thought uh, we'll run them through the thickness or that ought to work so it seems to have worked fairly well so even if there's a little bit of warp there the thickness or you know planes that out or mashes that out as it planes so uh, we've got the core tapered now and now, I need to glue up the core with the runners and then plane my rails and get them nice and clean because this shit's not real smooth right now. It's mahogany. I'm pretty sure I planed them before, but I don't remember. But they are not very smooth, so I'm going to try to clean them up a little bit and then I think we'll be ready for the entire neck blank glue up. Woohoo!
neck profile, I have this neat little jig, and you can barely call it a jig. Uh, basically, it's a template that, that tapers the way it should, but I don't use this for routing or anything. Um, I have holes in throughout it so I can double check the center line. And I have screw holes that correspond to holes on this piece of crap. The uh, bottom mount full neck tapered jig 9000. Which sets it on there at the exact right place so that I can cut it on the table saw and just cut the taper. But to do that, we got to make sure we get the screw holes exactly right. So, I look at... Um, each side to see if it looks lined up to me. I'll double check the center line as best I can, you know, almost an inch deep. And then we will double check this caliper. enough at the other end that I'll go ahead and clamp this before I do the other end because I like where this is at. I don't want it moving. Off, make sure we actually hit the right spot and pre drill them just a little bit. Incidentally, these are placed so that they will be in the truss rod route or the body cutout, so all of those should go away. Hope you had fun. Like this video. Go subscribe. Stick around. We'll be back here next time. We have more stuff to do.